boom. Did you see that bow? Look at this, and look how attentive she is, right? <laughs> Waiting for me in my penthouse apartment. Attentive, doing my laundry. Dinner's <laughs> ready, running around. You know, get, she's getting me a beer. Uh, stirring my noodles. She's very attentive. Beatin Sheiks donated $199. Yeah. Whatever Brian and Q lists for women, they should be shamed. Us men are in our soft guy era. Preferences are have a career, weigh under 125 pounds, own their home, car, <laughs> make seven figures yearly. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Soft guy era. Soft, <laughs> soft guy summer. We up? Yo, Bean Cheeks. Good to see you in the chat, man. It's been a while. Drizzle, drizzle, dude. Um, play the bow really quick one more time. Boom! She's got to be down to bow. Like first date, just hit me with a bow. Oh. Doesn't matter, and it's Not like not for McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a, Put in what some a, effort, and then we'll talk. Uh, so yeah, she's got to be willing to bow. Uh, let's see what else. Personality. Okay, here we go. I'll just blast the personality. Uh, moderate preference for introverted women. Quiet, calm, soft-spoken. Slightly endearingly awkward is cool, I guess. A little bit shy, a little bit nerdy. Uh, and actually, once like a shy, introverted person gets comfortable around you, they, their person personality does tend to blossom. Modesty is huge, both in personality and appearance. Uh, I don't like big egos, super vain, diva shit. Brings me peace, doesn't quarrel, doesn't party, doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs. Doesn't go to bars or clubs. Low body count, no current or past promiscuity. Undivided romantic and sexual attention, the earlier the better. I wrote down has a praise kink. I don't know, okay. A girl who helps me in my mission, someone who's attentive. And really the big thing though, is you're, if you're just down to like nonstop back scratches and massages, boom, you got me. Easy, easy. And that's pretty much it. Any objections there? The bowing is crazy, Brian. <clears throat> is it? Why? Tell me why. Tell why me why. Do you, why do you want somebody to bow so badly? What do you mean? Because I know it's going to come back to the topic of submission. Wait, speak straight into the mic, but go ahead. I know it's going to come back to the topic of mm -hmm. submission. Sure. And that is submission comes straight from the Bible. The well, Bible... I, I wouldn't look at this from a religious perspective. I would look at this from a uh, secular perspective. But then that's where do the you problem. get submission from? Yeah, that's... It's in, it's in nature. You can, I submission, mean... Submission is in nature. You, yeah. Where? You, where in, in nature? In, in mammalian species. You don't think that there's submissive atheist women? I'm sure there is, but I think it is in more times than not very harmful because it's coming from a very, very selfish, prideful... And just like across the board, Wait, what, board harmful, like on the woman's part or the man's part? On the man's part. To desire a submissive woman. To a woman bowing for you is harmful submission. Submission it, should articulate be, how it's harmful. It's prideful on the man's part. How is it prideful? It's selfish. How is it selfish? Why do you want her to bow for you? Expl first explain to me, answer my question first, how is it harmful, or what was the other word you used, harmful, or did you, what, not prideful. selfish, Pride prideful, selfish, how is it yeah. selfish on the man's part, how is it harmful to the woman? Because are you thinking about her experience, or are you thinking about your experience? I, I, don't, under I don't really understand your argument, but how is it harmful? Because that's not going to be, it's not loving. How is it not loving? Because you're considering only your experience, and it's feeding your ego. Having somebody doesn't bow feed my ego at you, all. Can I ask something? It for no, 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 no. Sure Hold on. Would. It for sure would, Brian. Having somebody bow for you would not feed your ego and make you feel more powerful. It wouldn't make me feel more powerful. It just make you feel respected. But how is it? Okay, Appreciate so. It. Let's remove the my my side from this. How is it harmful to the woman? Articulate that. Because it's this. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your argument, please. Let me think. 
it's like a weird power dynamic that is I'm all for let me ask you a question dynamic. do you want a guy to open the car door for you on a date yeah wow that's, that's really loving. harmful to the man that's a weird power power dynamic that you want that you insist a man open a car door for you when you have agency and you're you have the strength to open a car door articulate to me why you want a man to open the car door for you because it goes back further than just like cars are are a recent invention of modernity they've been around for like a hundred years goes back to when the caveman days well obviously not okay so there's no evolutionary basis for a woman desiring a man to open a car door so explain to me I'm why sure women it did want... originate for like safety reasons safety protecting reasons. It, protecting the woman no i actually do she's gonna blow out her shoulder opening a car door don't <laughs> think so don't think so do you know the history of chivalry? Uh, some. Some? To basically woo a woman that you couldn't get that wasn't attracted to you, so you basically tried to make her attracted to you by being subservient. I think that's being very bitch. Very sexy. No, that's a, that's the a, no, that's the actual history. I don't. From France, the chivalrous knights. Yeah, but like if we went back biblically, people would love on others to show other people that they can experience God's love. Yeah, but biblically it's not that's not we talking about where we actually know it originated historically. Like where you can date it back to it was the chivalrous knights of France. And that's where being that's where we kind that's that's where that's where the con that's where no the concept of chivalry, like wooing a woman, like trying to impress a woman, doing those okay. kind of things. It dates back to I believe fifteenth century France. Fifth uh, might be a little earlier than that. Somewhere in between the twelfth and the sixteenth century. France, chivalrous knights. Okay, but I don't think women ever like demanded a man open a car door for them. No, that's just a form of chivalry and it all ties back into just trying to impress a woman. You're trying to be impressive to the woman. Yeah. You're trying to dem basically pedestalize her. Okay. Yeah. So that's what opening a car door would be in a sense. It's like your majesty, my queen. Wait, so again though, how okay. is it harmful to the woman for her to do a bow? Because it, you're only thinking about yourself. That's well, what not about, the ground. What? I'm not saying it's going to like a, cause physical harm to her, but in the relationship, that's not that's not Wait, going to be very into healthy. The mic. Nick, I can't see her, so you have to be looking out for this. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, I keep looking at you. That's it's fine. why. But um, it's not going to cause a healthy relationship when you're only thinking about your experience and how you can be served instead of trying to consider her experience. And okay, I have a couple questions and for When you. both people do that, probably, do you know what? She might end up bowing for you. But when you're like, okay, I need to be bowed for and like, I'm only, I'm not gonna think about how I can, you know, bring love into this person's life. I'm just gonna think about how she can make me feel better and better. That's not gonna be grounds for a healthy relationship. So you think that if a woman were to bow in a relationship, it would just be absolutely catastrophic and it would just lead to the demise of the relationship just on virtue of, the, of her bowing and the man wanting her to bow? I don't think it would be catastrophic, but I do think that having that is like an ideal for looking for relationships is like honestly so un <laughs> like it's not it's good i don't think it's healthy like honestly. i think it's just very you don't think it's healthy no i don't think it's very Let me healthy ask you, okay, in a so relationship I'll ask both of you for this a woman to bow to a guy that's doing too much it's unhealthy <laughs> okay so what labor like is it is it physically laborious is it grueling to do i bow? just feel like um it it's is. a slippery slope like How's you might you slope? might ask her to bow for you but then like what's next what else are you going to be asking her to do that kind of just like lowers her ranking in the doesn't, relationship it doesn't lower it her ranking degrading. It's, so, yeah, it's, no, 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 it's no, no, a no. bit degrading no it actually elevates her no what do you got amy if she's no. bowing to you would you bow back to nope. her that's what my original question was going to be. Like, is this actually a fetish kink, or is this about sub like submissive <laughs> nature? It's funny how upset they get about the bow thing. I so here's what's interesting. I think you well, might. First I'm off, not upset let, about really it. Quick, it's just unhealthy. Uh, just really quick question for you. Do you object? Uh, obviously, you recognize there are cultures where where bowing is more uh, typical. Do you object to the bow in those cultures? What cultures? 
uh, like for Asian cultures, for example, like Japan? I don't know if they bow they to bow. their husbands. I don't it's, know the specifics it's women of it, but bowing. bowing is more common. Well, no, because I, th I think that's totally different context. They're not... Okay, sure. So we'll remove that from the yeah. equation if you don't object to it in that context. Uh, is this, it's cultural appropriation, though. Bow is a sign to respect our elders. We don't bow to our, like, spouses. No, like... I don't get it. Like, my nephews and nieces bow to me. You're Vietnamese, though, right? I'm Chinese-Vietnamese, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know the specifics of the various, uh, you know, the, the cultures, the cultural specifics of each individual country. I know there are vast differences between Vietnam, uh, Korea, Japan, China, um, Thailand, Mongolia, Laos, Indonesia. I don't know. There's, pl there's plenty of Asian countries. They all have different cultures. Um, so, yeah. If you take it but from that, I'm not that, making an like argument of like, I'm doing this because I, of Asian cultures. No, this is just like some white boy shit. But you won't answer why. Yeah, why why do you want her to bow? Because I want it. Do I need any but other why? reasons? Why? Yes. Well, one, okay, one, because it's submissive. <laughs> one, because it's submissive. It's sort of a, a determination of her willingness to be submissive. But... What and be playful and you? be playful it's not like some dark twisted it's, demented it's. thing for me how is it how is it dark well, articulate how, like you can't just throw it out and not have a reason for it how is it dark can i can i chime in let um, me no 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 i just Actually, don't, wait, I just don't know ahead. how hold, you no, no, can no, just on, stand there and watch somebody bow to you and not feel like god stop that just stand that's up that's because <laughs> hold on stop the, that but you're viewing it through the female lens you desire you typically, want to know something funny what you have after dip? that night <laughs> after that night that well the first night that i did the podcast and you showed the bowing video i told my husband about it yeah. and then we were acting it out together and i bowed to him and he felt so weird and he was like don't ever do that again and i okay, was like cool <laughs> i was like how does it make you feel when i bow to you he goes he was like, I can't even describe it. It's like, I just don't want you to do it. Uh, I feel weird about myself if yeah, you bow to me. Before you did the bow, did you have a five minute conversation about how you feel like you told him that you think it's weird no. and that no, you just literally no, I was like, oh, was you like, guys were talking about wants... it and you set up this totally inorganic bowing thing. One, he doesn't desire the bow. Two, you have opposition to the bow. So of course it was going to come off weird in that scenario. I've had women who've come on the show who said, hey, Brian, I just hit the bow to my man just because I've seen it. And the husband liked it. That is not something that I've women are woman, naturally going to want to do So for you, you can give your circumstantial thing. I can just give you an opposite scenario where we had a woman who was on who said she hit the bow and the husband loved it. Cool. You probably freaked your husband out because he know you're not even like that. You probably was like, what the fuck? But hold on. I am very submissive, though. I'm Go very ahead. submissive, but that was Stop. just yeah. taking it a step. I, oh, I actually, like, kind of give the bow as much seriousness as, like, you're, you're wanting back scratches. It's like, I don't see the need to give the bow. I'll bow. Sure. My husband actually asks, like, when he comes home from work that I meet him at the door and give him a kiss hello. Like, that's not very far that's away. Oh, sorry. But yeah, that's not very far away from like the bow, but it's not like giving it so much power to compromise myself. My husband just said he wanted this because it, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and he uh, wants to feel loved by me. So I don't see 